learn unknown share known welcome to lusk Now let's see the boiler firing sequence in very fast manner. First, fuel oil pumps will be running continuously. Okay, then automating steam valve will open or compressed air valve will open for automating. Then purging will happen for one minute. After purging period completes, ignition burner pump will start and those two valves will open. Then pilot burner will start firing. then there will be a flame sensor that will detect there is a flame inside the burner then main fuel oil valve will open then main burner will start firing because of pilot burner and the flame eye detects flame sensor will detect then as soon as there is a steady flame ignition burner will stop then after achieving the required steam pressure main burner will stop by closing the fuel oil and purging will occur for hello everyone today we are going to learn about ship's boiler because boiler is one of the very important equipment and important machinery on ship especially on tankers right here you can see in the screen this is a boiler panel here you can see clearly how the boiler is firing and what is the sequence of it so it will be easy to learn uh actually i have already said the sequence of boiler already if you have not seen in end of the video also it will come again so let's see what all equipments are here like i mean this is boiler drum i mean the boiler here there is a water level indication it is showing right now 7 mm actually 0 mm is 0 mm is normal level and uh, if it goes plus 100 mm 150 mm or 200 mm it's high water level and uh, vice versa if it goes in minus like minus 50 minus 100 minus 200 is low water level that is indication so there is one valve here fresh water control valve which controls the water level in the boiler so if we set the point at 10 mm or 20 mm or 0 mm this valve will make sure that water level is not going beyond set point i mean if you set point 10 mm and water will not go beyond 10 mm that is the work of the fresh water control valve now here you can see there are four pumps fuel oil pump 1 2 and mgo pump 1 2 mgo is nothing but marine gas oil so any one pump only you are going to use at the time according to the requirement you will run the pump now you can see the red indication this is a fuel oil indication and this yellow indication is automating steam why automating steam is used for when in a nozzle fuel is going at the same time automating steam also will go so there will be a formation of cloud or there will be a formation of mist inside the boiler so when firing the firing will be in good for that only you are using automating steam so it will automate next there is a ignition pump ignition pump is nothing but there will be a two burner inside the boiler i mean big boilers one is pilot burner other one is main burner for firing the pilot burner just there will be electrode that will create spark and with the help of diesel oil pilot burner will fire so here you can see the ignition pump ignition will pump will pump the diesel oil for the burner and it will ignite and get fired so when pilot burner fires after that main burner will get fuel oil and main burner will start firing means with spark plug we can't fire the main burner because main burner will be very bigger one so with main burn with the pilot burner we are firing the main burner so only there will be two burner after main burner starts catching the fire then pilot burner will stop automatically so that's what you're going to see in this video that's it now you going to see i'm going to start the efd fan i mean force draft fan here you can see it turned green color fan is used you know already there will be air and fuel ratio for that air required for that only we are using efd fan so here it is now 2 mm 
I mean FD fan is a flap type it is in closed condition right now so when more amount of air required flap will open slowly and more amount of air will go inside the border for firing so now we press the manual operation now border is going to start the sequence now you can see here FD fan flap is opening slowly it was 2 mm na. now it is going to go to the maximum I mean full open it will go around 300 to 330 that is a full open according to boiler to boiler brand to brand it will change so purging period will be happening for approximately one minute why purging is happening because there will be some flammable gases inside or maybe oil is dripping inside so in previous firing so to avoid those things to exhaust that flammable gas when we forcefully compress the air inside the boiler those gas will go via exhaust so only purging is done in each and every initial firing now you can see as soon as it started reducing you can see here ignition pump started okay ignition pump started because it is sending a signal that we are going to fire so after ignition pump starts when it becomes 220 or 22 something i mean the minimum value then these two valves will open automatically to fire the pilot burner now see those valve open and pilot burner is firing right now so now pilot burner is firing and you can see now this become oil valve open now and now main burner is also started firing and there is a flame sensor which detects the flame is steady or not after flame is steady pilot burner stops automatically you can see pilot burner will stop automatically and ignition pump will stop and walls also will get closed now flame is steady so it is firing only in the main burner i mean main fuel oil and in main burner yes now when stopping boiler i mean when you achieve the required steam in the boiler as usual what will happen right this oil wall will close so when there is no fuel um, burner will stop firing after burner stops firing this automation steam automation steam will go and flush the burner lines and make there the make sure that there is no any fuel remain in the lines for the safety purpose that's it you can see here after stop this is all stopped still automation steam is going inside after some time this valve also will get closed now boiler firing sequence is done if you have any doubts you can just comment i will try to clear your doubts now let's see the boiler firing sequence in very fast manner first fuel oil pumps will be running continuously okay then automation steam wall will open or compressed air wall will open for automation then purging will happen for one minute after purging period completes ignition burner pump will start and those two walls will open then pilot burner will start firing then there will be a flame sensor that will detect there is a flame inside the burner then main fuel oil wall will open then main burner will start firing because of pilot burner and the flame ID detects flame sensor will detect then as soon as there is a steady flame ignition burner will stop then after achieving the required steam pressure main burner will stop by closing the fuel wall and purging will occur for a